Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my React JS course. In this video, we will try to see the life cycle hooks of the update thing. So, when the data is updating, what are the life cycle hooks it will undergo? Let's try to see. If you open our React JS and if you go to the docs here, in the docs, in the API reference and in the react.component, you will be able to see the life cycle hooks. And I have already shown you the life cycle diagram also. Let's proceed through the life cycle diagram. As we already told you, for mounting we have already seen. So for updating, whenever a variable is changing in the component, so what are the steps it will undergo? Let's try to see. Here, the first common thing is the get derived state from the props. This is the common method which will be updated both while creating the component and also whenever any variable is updating. And another thing which, which is the main thing is should component update. So this should component update what it will try to do is so this is the uh, whether I need to render the document whether, whether I need to render the uh, re-render that uh, component or not it will decide it will be decided here so this one you should return either true or false if it if it returns true means then it will go to the un underlying steps or otherwise if it is returning false means here you will be able to see the uh, in, uh, wrong symbol so that means it will not undergo any other further steps so here due to the performance uh, for performance increases we can undergo this one so whenever any stay any whenever any variable is changing whenever any variable is changed then here we can tell to that one sir tell to tell to the component that so to re-render that uh, component or not so like this we can do it so should a component update will execute so immediately from the get derived state from the props should component update will do and another one is the render so this is commonly thing so which is uh, executed in the mounting and mounting and the also opting so again the render document again the whole html will be rendered again so after immediately re after immediately re-rendering immediately get snapshot before update will be released will be fired so this is the rare case where we will be not using most of the cases but when we why we will be using this one is because for the scrolling thing and other things when the re render document has been occurred so whenever if you want to scroll to any position or anything so you can use this get snapshot before update and and the last one but not the least one is the component did update so what is this component did update is same thing like component did mount so whenever all the com all the complete actions has been completed the component did mount will fire right so in the same scenario whenever the re render and all those things has completed so this one will fire component did update will fire this is the last phase so this is how the updating phase will go like so first one we will try to see from first onwards get derived state from the props if you already go to the post.js so here we are having this one right so here you will be able to say get derived state from props so let's try to see the single post why because single post is so here we are using we are we are taking the title here so that means whenever any title is update whenever any new title came so the single post will be read so that means the data is updated let's go to the single post and here let's try to write so here we don't have a state so there is no need to write the get derived state from the props but you need to know that get derived state from props also will be executed so now another one will be the should component update okay so let's try to check the should component update if you click on should component update so it will take the two parameters next props and the next state so the next props what are the next props it has came and next state it has came so now let's try to take so here i am writing so immediately what it will try it will should component update so here it will take next props okay so if you want to do anything so you can do with the variables so here what i will try to do is console.log single post should component update fired okay so this is the thing so now as i already told you that it, it need to return either true or false so here you will be able to see so this is this is this method is mainly used for the performance opti optimization so default if you are not mentioning this uh, what we can say this method means it will default to true if you are mentioning this method means then you need to explicitly mention the return value so either you need to return false or otherwise return true so here you will be able to see see currently if you should update returns false then what it render and all the component will not be invoked okay so must and should we need to uh, pass either return or uh, either return true or return false so here what i will try to do is i will return true so that it can proceed to the next step so now we have implemented the should component update so after implementing the should component update 
what it will try to do what it will try to find render okay fine we have the render and here it will be render call will be fed okay then you will be getting the get snapshot before update okay so get snapshot before update so here get snapshot before update so this one will take two parameters again previous state and the previous props what are the previous states and the previous props if you click here you will be able to see the here previous props and the previous state okay so now what it will be try to do so here previous props and the previous state okay so now here we need to return null or anything so we need to return something okay so now here let's try to console.log single post okay single post get snapshot file so i am using get snapshot file okay so i have used this get snapshot before update also so what is this one will do so it is invoked right before the render so whenever the render render has been completed then immediately this this one will be get snapshot before update will be fired so what 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 this one will do is to capture some information from the dawn so for example example scroll position or anything so it will it will it will try to capture the some information okay so now what is uh, uh, this is not common actually this is this use case is not common but, uh, when you are apply when you are uh, trying to deal with the charting charting application and all since in order to scroll that one we will be using this get snapshot before update so now is uh, uni so the return values will be the snapshot value or null should be written snapshot value means any value so whatever the value you are having you can return for example if you are returning any 10 means so you can return anything or null okay you should return something now another thing will be the last one will be the component did update okay so this is the component did update so whenever the everything is completed component did update will be fired so now here let's try to write component did update so here if i try to write component did update so here also you will get try to get the previous props and also previous state and now whatever the snapshot data you are trying to return here so it will be caught in the snapshot so last parameter so now if you want to console.log you can try to console.log the snapshot also you will be able to uh, you will be able to get the output 10 here whatever the return value is there you will be able to get here so now here i can write the console.log single post okay so component did update filed okay we can write it like this so these are the update life cycles uh, update life cycles in a component so what is the first one we fire should component update first one will be the get derived state from props this one you need to remember so whether it is for a while the component is creating or component is any value is updating this method will be fired then afterwards should component update then afterwards render then get snapshot before update then at final one is a component did update let's try to check the output here so now if i go to my react app if i inspect the element here so let's take the check the console okay and here i am refreshing that url so now if i refresh the page so here you'll be able to see that this is mounting while the component is mounting first the post.js constructor is called then get derived is called is commonly then render is called then when render is called it is going to the child components then again in the child component constructor is called then again render is called there is no get derived in the child component so then again in in the child component component did mount is called so that means uh, the, when the child component is entirely is completed then afterwards the parent component did component did mount is called fine so mounting is perfect now i am updating the value in the post.js okay so now if i fire if i if i write anything something like this see immediately post.js get derived call we already told you right so get derived state from the props also called when the when any data is updated um, immediately post.js render is calling okay when the render is called single post.js it is going so should component update fire so should component update so whether i need to update the component or not it is firing so now again render is fired now here you will be able to see that get snapshot file so whenever the immediately render is called so immediately get snapshot has been fired then here it is firing from the component did, did update so now here component did update also is fired so now we are able to see the component update life cycle also so now if i try to write the post.js here okay here the post.js this is the post.js right get derived state from forms uh, automatically it will update so here i can write should component update 
so you will be having the next props and also the next state so you can return true here okay so now here what i can do console.log push.js should component should component update fire or called something like this and next component uh, render will call so again what it will try to do after render so here it will try to fire get snapshot before update right so get snapshot before update so here you will be having the previous props and the previous state okay so here we need to return null or anything so this one the data whatever you are capturing it will be captured in the component it update and here i can write console.log so post.js what i can write here snapshot file okay so last one will be the component did update component did update okay so here you'll be having the previous props and the previous state and also if you if you are sending any snapshot you can send the snapshot so here you i can do console.log component did update file okay so we have written in the parent component also now what i will try to do here if i try to refresh this page so i am trying to refresh this page okay so here post.js everything is called fine perfect so now i am trying to change so that means in the parent component the data is changing and also in the single component the state is changing so if i click here so here get derived state is called so in the first of the post in the parent component should component update file then after us render call so in the in the child component again should component file in the single post render call immediately get snapshot file and also in the parent component get snapshot file see so when the render is completed here immediately in the child component get snapshot file so now are uh, now in the parent in the child component this one is also uh, what you, child child render is completed that means in the parent also render is completed immediately snapshot file then afterwards in the single post component did update file and in the post.js also component did update file okay so this is how the component life cycle will go on now another one what is the last one remaining is the com unmounting component will unmount so this one we can write something like component will component so here we can write here something like component will unmount okay so here i can write something like console.log component unmount called okay so now if you try to see the output here so when this one will be fired whenever the company is component is uh, removed so then it will be fired so for example here height post is there right so when i click on the height post see the post.js data updation is has been fired why because in this one we are firing the what i can say in in this one we are firing the uh, data which we are it is changing the data so that means one variable the state data is changing so show post uh, true false it is changing so that is the data that is the reason again render these all things are called but here the single uh, single post it has been the component has been removed so for that reason so here the component unmount called immediately okay so this is how so this is how the component life cycles will undergo during the mounting phase updation phase and also the unmounting phase okay hope you understood about the complete life cycle of this react js so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you